In conservation ecology, which is the idea of studying how an ecosystem works and helping to preserve that ecosystem as best we can in amongst all the needs and pressures that we humans put on it, in conservation ecology there's this big concept called a keystone species. What that refers to is in an arch, at the very top of the arch you'll have what's called the keystone. That's the one stone that if you remove it may cause the entire arch to fall. So the idea here is that there might be in some ecosystems a one species or a couple of species that plays a major role despite being in very small numbers because it impacts many other species. So what are some examples of a keystone species? One would be otters in kelp forests. Now you may be thinking otters are cute but yippee. Well, Otters like to eat sea urchins, and so they help keep down the levels of sea urchins in the kelp forest. Well, it turns out that sea urchins, without otters around, tend to increase their population dramatically, and they wind up attacking the anchor things called holdfasts that are at the bottom of the kelps, and which, if you have a bunch of sea urchins eating that, it eventually winds up destroying the kelp forest so that every other organism that is dependent upon the kelp winds up suffering and perhaps dying. This has been really demonstrated a couple of times. First, when uh, we humans started hunting the sea otters for their fur. When legislation was passed to protect them, they came back and the kelp forest started looking better. But recently there's been some reports in some areas off the coast of Alaska where the otters are disappearing and so are the kelp forests. It's suspected that this is due to the effect, not of humans in this case, but killer whales. What people are wondering about is why are the killer whales going after the otters? And there's some suspicion that it may be due to depredations of seal and other uh, normal targets of the killer whales' activities. Another example might be uh, the wolves being reintroduced into Yellowstone Park. Wolves originally were mostly hunted out, and that allowed the elk to get out of control, and the elk were eating a lot of the aspen and spruce trees before they got a chance to build up into tall trees. You may be thinking, so why is that a big deal? Well, it wound up that without a lot of aspen and spruce shading the uh, rivers and streams that changed the temperature of the streams, killing off a lot of the uh, organisms that lived in the water, plus without the wolves there, uh, coyotes started moving in to replace them as the top predator in that uh, ecosystem. But Coyotes, while they can wipe out foxes and other animals, they can't handle, take down the big elk. So it wound up causing all sorts of problems and greatly reduced the biodiversity in Yellowstone. They've recently reintroduced the wolves, and this seems to have brought back a lot of the original biodiversity that people loved about Yellowstone. Now, this is still kind of a controversial uh, area especially with the ranchers that surround Yellowstone. But this is an example of what people mean by a keystone species.